Hello, and welcome to the next episode. Hey. So, we're still on Cinnabar? Yep. Uh, we have Are you going to play Blaine today? Well, I'm at least going to go through the gym here, see uh So you're at least going go. to deal with his cronies. Yeah. So, um, the, uh, the uh, Pokemon previously known as Mid-Hat, now my son fucked my life, has actually been doing better since the last, um, since the name change. Yeah. It seems like to get the right result, you just have to be firm, but unfair. Caterpie does not evolve into Butterfree, it evolves into Metapod first. What? Okay. Okay, well. See, that's wording, because yes it does, but no it doesn't. Yeah, I know what you mean. Caterpie evolves into Butterfree, no it evolves into Metapod, which evolves into Butterfree. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be nice to you, but at the same time I can't be mean to you on that one. What the hell? What? Level 35? Level 36? Yeah, and then, uh, Lane's gonna have, like, level 62. Yeah, they didn't think that through very well, did they? Not at all. That's definitely, like, just Gen 1 thing. It's just not scaling your opponents properly. Yeah, that's an unfortunate thing. And this is why I always felt underleveled when I came to Elite 4, because... Battles like this, like if all of them were at least in the level 40, low 40s, mm -hmm. that's oh, fine. Oh, and you weren't one of the kids who had a team of two way over level Pokemon and a bunch of other stallers for potions and arrives. Back when I, like when I was younger, I always stuck to having as much of a balanced team as I could. And 90% of the kids back in the day used to have just one or two over level Pokemon. And it's almost always your starter is one of them. And whatever covers your starters, um, things that they can't hit. Yeah. Funny enough, actually, for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, my starter was my weakest Pokemon overall. Yeah. In my game, I actually ditched my starter. <laughs> oh! That Rallet! That used to be my grandfather's... What Rallet? I left yeah. it back with the professor. Yeah. Because I don't care about it. Yeah, because he decided to use the Ralts for his starter. Mmm, actually, I ended up getting Ralts much later than starter. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I never even put my uh, Ralts on my team. Holy. My uh, replacement, though, ended up being a Lilligant for my um, grass. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges? No, there are eight. But I'm still going to fight these guys anyways. Can you still? Yeah. You just have to talk to them. Which I wonder, in this room here, if you get it wrong, do you have to battle both trainers or just one of them? Like, I've never gotten that question wrong, and now I kind of regret getting it right. I'm curious. But not curious enough to make you restart. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna be- I battle everyone regardless, so... Yep. That's how you do it. Yeah, I, I don't see a purpose to skipping any battles. I mean, if your Pokemon are low at health, yeah, skip, just that so you can go back to the center. You also know it's about a good, a, a, a decently balanced JRPG. If you can play through the game, and so long as there aren't too many encounters, if you can fight all your opponents that you see, and never run from an encounter, if you are perfectly leveled for the fight, but not over-leveled or under-leveled, that's some good balancing in my opinion. Yeah. It still gives the out to if you're having a hard time to over-level a bit, or to, you know, unfortunately though, for the people who like to under-level, well, they can just run from solo battles and skip some of them if they want to fight as a challenge. Yeah, like, wild battles, a lot of times I'll skip those if I can. Uh, especially if I'm already over-leveled as is. Yeah. Sure, that little bit of experience just won't really matter too much, but mm -hmm. still. I just know so many games where people are like, oh, you know, the boss is so strong, I can't be, I watch them play. And they run from, like, 90% of the fights, and it's like... I wonder why you're too... Oh, shit! Well, I'm annoyed with these random encounters, it's a stupid system. Then why are you playing a JRPG? Exactly. That, you know, like not all JPG, JRPGs have random encounters, but it is kind of a staple of, uh, of the genre. Well, I kind of like the random encounters because you never know what you're going to fight. Oh, he keeps remembering. Yeah, no, I'm making sure that no one evolves here. I have studied Pokemon totally. Okay, well, what did you study about them? I'm surprised that Blaine has a bunch of nerds in his gym. 
and Blaine's just this badass. Who in the anime kind of likes Riddles a little bit, but, you know, he's not to this level. No. And his Riddles are more pun-style Riddles. I'm weak because I am truly the Gym Master Blaine. I fucking love this, the uh, fight between Charizard and Magmar with the fucking uh, seismic toss into the volcano. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen all that stuff. Yeah, I haven't seen it since I was the first time I saw it. Well, no, the third time, because that one is a rerun a couple times as a kid. But this was when you were probably in kindergarten when I saw that. Probably. Or not even in. I've already missed four rock throws. <sighs> Looks like he's gone back to his old bullshit. Oh. Well, he's underperforming, but he's underperforming to a point where it's not completely useless, eh? I mean, just think, if it, if it weren't for these Pokemon being Fire-type, mm -hmm. it would be a lot worse. Yeah. Like, look at this! Uh, what's the accuracy on Rock Throw again? I believe it's 95. I would double-check that. I believe it's 95, because Rock Slide's at 90. Yeah, you might want to double-check that. It seems like it has a 60% rate. Yeah, considering it's missing them more often than not. See, that's one thing I don't get with uh, Pokemon games as well. Like, I do understand that uh, it's percentage chance, but still, if a move has a 90 base accuracy, assuming it's let's say let's just say it's at 90, assuming it has a 90% accuracy, why the hell am I missing more than a third of my attacks? Why don't you check that stat? That's actually what I'm going to be doing when I go to heal up here. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I gotta Google this. So this is the perfect time for me to check. Well, won't it pull up on the thing if you pull up the moves? Nope, it, that's another Gen 1 thing. You can't see the move stats at all. Wow. Gen 1 really sucked. Yeah. I mean, Gen uh, 2 built on that, because you can actually see the moves, their power and all that. It is accuracy 90. Wow. Are they sure they didn't fuck that up? Uh, let's see. In Gen 1. Oh, never mind. In Gen 1, its accuracy is 65%. Uh, it was in Gen 2 and on, they bumped it to 90. So, he's not sucking. He's actually performing pretty good. He's still garbage. He's still missing more often. I'm going to see if we can learn Rock Throw quickly. Uh, or, not Rock Throw. That moves garbage. Rock Slide. Uh, Bulbapedia. Because if you can learn Rock Slide naturally, then we'll be fine. Uh, game data. It's hard to do it multitasking because sometimes the site lags so much when I go to click on something. Well, you at least have Earthquake. Yeah, but I don't want to have to rely on just Earthquake. I'd like to have some more moves. Gen 1. Oh, wait, I didn't even see what it said in the question there. It said probably evolves three times. Oh. Yeah, it only evolves twice. And yeah, so his last move it learns is Explosion, so... I'm stuck with Rock, though. Cool. <laughs> that was nice. I kind of want someone to keep track of how many times it does miss rock throw to see if the percentage actually is correct. Uh, with a 60 thing, a 50-50 hit rate isn't actually that off. In the last episode, it hit a lot. Yeah, I think we only had like two misses the whole episode. And you were spamming that move. Yeah. Our thunder move is effective against ground element. Technically, well, no matter what, it's no. But you can't answer that because thunder type is not a type. It's electric. Oh. Gen 1. Although I know what they mean, but still. Yeah, it's translation errors. Yeah. Is sound type moves effective against uh, ground type? Are wind type moves good against bug moves or bug types? Well, isn't there technically a sound category, but it's like a subset? There is a sound category as its own thing. So it's like a hyper voice, uh, supersonic, like they're sound based moves. Aren't they technically normal type moves though? Well, you can have different types of moves that are sound based. Voice. Metal sound, as you can tell, is a sound move, but it's uh, a steel type. 
So pretty much if it makes, if the move itself is based around sound, then like it, ground. then it'll be, yeah, like round's another one, uproar, then it's classified as a sound type, or at least a sound category, because sound moves bypass things like substitute as well. Don't you have a substitute doll around here somewhere? Yeah, I do. I love fire spin. So, um, real good aim there, hey? Yeah. Come on, can you please break free? I swear that's already been five turns. Probably. You want to stomp yet and you're going to flinch me and then you're going to use it again? Yep. Yep, there it is, yep. Oh my god. Gen 1 bullshit. I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised you haven't switched out. Well, I was going to see if anything would change there. Because I need Geodude to get as much XP here, just in case. Yeah, when I used to play this game, when I used to play, or, you know, when I do play, I actually try not to use potions very much. Yeah, generally I don't either, And that's one of the reasons I get mad about dead gym leaders and elite four members potions that I'm having now. I was like, sure, they only, like, be able to use two to three, but still annoying as all hell when you're not using any. Yeah, I know what you mean there. This was pretty much how a lot of Gen 1 battles online was. It, you just get a faster Pokemon that could you, uh, oh thanks, yeah. If you use like Wrap or whatever, yeah. and just spam it. So is Fire Spin or whatever that's called still broken in Gen 2? Uh, I think that's when they actually fixed everything. Ah, oh, damn it. Except for Trikini. The way it's in general, and just that's complete garbage. Like you simply can't attack at all. Mm -hmm. So, sure, it's pretty much the same as I'm using a single flamethrower or whatever. But the fact that they can immediately use it again, like it's essentially a flamethrower with a guaranteed flinch, no matter what. Yeah. All on the same kind of level are not identical. That's actually kind of like based on what rules. Technically, yeah. no, because even these ones might be different, but. So it's like, yes, they are not identical, or no, they are. Yeah. Because I think the whole idea there is what their hidden values, which you would never even know that. I, like, I don't think anyone really knew that until late. After you know, all this was released. Like, I think it was when Gen 2 was out there. That's when people found out, like, oh, hey, there's actually these things in the Pokemon that dictates different stuff. Like if it's a like if it's a shiny or not when it gets transferred to a Gen 2. Because mm. they essentially had IVs, kinda like the Pokemon today, mm -hmm. except they had no influence I think the whole thing was it had no influence on the stats. Mm -hmm. And also in the case of EVs you could fully invest every stat. Yep. So it's technically 252 every stat, which is Interesting, that's for sure. So, are you just gonna get a bunch of PP ups for uh, Earthquake? I'm probably gonna have to, yeah. Because like, 100 base power, 100 accuracy, super effective, or uh, ground type, and it's strong. Oh, so a little update. Um... You know, we talked about our cart cartridge of gold that wasn't working. Yeah. It has been repaired. So, whenever we get uh, around to that, you know, it's ready. Which it may be soon, anyways, based on this. Because realistically, looking at it, we just have Blaine to take out. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the Mystery 8th Gym Leader. Get through Victory Road. Wait, Tombstoner. I don't remember that ever being there. Uh, okay. They should make a tombstone move now. That'd be funny. Oh well, yeah, no, we just have Blaine here. Uh, then the eighth gym leader. Victory Road. Then the Elite Four Champions. Maybe your father. 
Maybe. His father's... Wait, well, father's don't exist inside the Pokemon world until Gen 3. Yeah, I mean, even with Oak and Gary, they're grandsons. Or he's his grandson, so... Yeah, so, you know... Either the son or the father has to disappear from existence. Clearly. I think I think this is the last trainer actually before uh, Blaine. I so, if Blaine had like a bunch of level 40 Pokemon. <laughs> That'd be amazing. But yeah, let's keep an eye on them, okay? So pretty much every Pokemon here is level 37. Aside from that Rapidash, which I think was 41. Yeah, that Rapidash was level 46. 46 was the lowest I saw. Yeah, 36 is the lowest, 37 for pretty much everything else. And that Rapidash being level 41. So let's just remember that before we fight Blaine. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, just a, such a weird sprite form. Yeah, I find it funny how some so how some gym leaders have like unique sprites, and others don't. And Blaine's just like, what the hell is that? Like Blaine's is the same as the guy at the beginning of the gym. Uh, actually, oh, like, maybe. No, well, maybe a little different actually. It's got the same mouth. <laughs> Do one last heal. So, ever realize that the uh, Kanto region has a lot of bald people in it? Yeah, I think that's still from the radiation. After the bombs and all that, you know, after the war. Ah. Uh, so many Volatorbs died in that war. Yeah. Honestly, I, I would love them to. Like, one, one of the games I want to play is the whole Pokemon Conquest. I wouldn't mind if they rebooted that for the Switch. And actually make it about the Pokemon War. Because we know it's a thing. I want a game that actually details. Well, they may retcon it multiple times. Haven't they retconned it in and out a few times? Not, not really, actually, because it's mentioned here, X and Y. It is confirmed that there was a big war, and A Z essentially killed everything and won it. But except for that war, seems to be a different war than um, Surge's war, because Surge's war ended within yeah. Surge's lifetime, and Surge can't be older than forty, and A Z is over how... three thousand years old. So there's been wars, but uh, whether or not the wars are Canon anymore is up for debate. Okay, so you're fighting him? Nah, I think now is a good time to actually end it. Just because. Cliffhangers and all that stuff. You know, you're a real asshole when you do stuff like that. Nobody likes cliffhangers. You know, we always have episodes that go over our limit. Okay. So. So, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, bye.